All right, so you know me. Give me a little bit of time. I start spitballing. I usually come up with the answers. Plus, you sounded disappointed that there was no video. So here's a video. All right, so in review, we've got the 15 millimeter, 15 millimeter, you know, just over a half inch. So since we're going to take some creative liberties, I solved the problems that were plaguing this design. Plus, once I kind of went with the larger size, this is assuming, even though we don't assume, that's number three, we don't assume, this is going to be the 17 foot version. Then I went with this A, 16 inches tall. When you put half and half the way they have it here, it's pretty anemic. So, and I, you know, I get it. They want a nice thin letter, but for what we're going to do, this is what we need to do if we're going to do it this way. So we got three quarter inch clear acrylic backer, and this would be our Beatro, normally an inch and a quarter. So rather than turn the whole thing into shaving dust, um, we just shave off a quarter inch. So this will be one inch deep. And once this is kind of sunk in a little bit, it's pretty proportional. It's just a bigger version of, of this. So I think that's a good solution. It's very, it should be very straightforward to route and set up files and everything. So not too far from what we do. The major plague was those little tiny set screws. There's really, I mean, we're talking 50% chance of success to even drill these holes. Um, if you look at, tw if you look at two millimeter, it's 0.07. So I'm going for 0.08. Another thing is if you get too thin here, um, even paint won't stick to it very well. So we got to, you know, even if we maybe go even a little bit thicker, but this is 0.08, which is close to what they're calling for. But even with 0.08 thickness, if you're trying to put a little tiny drill through here, even if it's a plex bit, you're going to snap and then you start crying. Um, and plus the set screw as well, is going to be so small and it's, it's going to be a watchmaker jeweler's loop nightmare trying to get that figured out. So our, I, I, I'm just going to do the solution of let's just go with brass inserts like we do. So you just drill the back of the Beatro. We'll tap in. I'm going with a number six. Um, and I think that hardware should be fine. Now, there's no free lunch. So set screw version is serviceable from the front. So should something happen, you come over here, take these set screws out. But there's a chance you're going to chip it even in the field. So but you can take the faces out, get to the acrylic. Um, even with the stuff we do for the casino, when we do beatros, um, really there's no way to do servicing. And even when you order impossibly small letters, the people who are making these letters these days is sort of like one and done, you know, you get five years, that's fine. So it isn't to say it isn't not serviceable, but once you install this, you're not going to be able to get to the screws from the back. So you just have to uninstall the letter to do service. But I think it's a good trade. Uh, you've got 40 to 50% success here versus you do it this way. We now are, you know, 99.44% sure of, a, you know, making sure it all just goes together just right. So that problem solved. And I think, you know, as long as we go with that, keeping this at one inch. Also, the way these work is the, the photons will go around these little brass inserts and it shouldn't cause a shadow. So that's why it's better to keep the Beatro thicker to allow that light to kind of get around. Um, when we do these, we also, we've done, uh, we have success with even 1024. So when you do like that at inch and a quarter, we don't get any shadow. So by shrinking this down to a number six, which I, sh I think should be just fine, um, there should be, there shouldn't be any problem with shadow there. We'll put them strategically. We don't, we'll just put enough just to hold the face in one here, one there, one there. And I think that'll be a good solution as far as, uh, keeping these together. So once that's done, uh, we'll use the riv nuts or the brass inserts. We'll use 1024s on the backside. This will be three eighths inch deep and the brass insert will be full, full penetration there. This is a number four stud we can do 12 inch studs whatever that that takes and if they have to do a nut and a washer on the back inside the attic that's fine but i think this should be should be a good solution there when they're calling out a six meter six millimeter spacer that's essentially quarter inch uh, acrylic so i'm thinking we take the time to route out some little discs uh this right here is three quarters of or this is one inch but i think we'd be better off with a three quarter inch and we would just go ahead and glue those on and just make these as one one part, you know, one whole piece of this. That way that we don't have uh, little washers or spacers we have to send out and get painted separately and everything. So 
those represented right here. So on the back of this, when it goes to time to put these together, we'll just we'll just uh, thick glue on some some spacers, and they'll be integral to the backer, and that way they can get faux finished and be all sexy. So that takes care of all that. So all that's left is the LEDs. Switching all this over to CNC, like you know where this brass insert goes, we tap that in. All this stuff pretty much makes it 100% foolproof. All that's left is the lighting. The trick will be lighting these properly without dark spots. So we'll be going to the tracer material and in order to have success with that, so we'll have the tracer um, Beatro stuff here. And I'm thinking another brainwave will be to, we'll go ahead and do the expense of having an 040 white, white aluminum backer that it'll be an insert that we'll route that will fit right in there. Um, just like that. So that way, instead of us trying to solder the LEDs down in these little channels here, you can see how thin this is going to get. So instead of us trying to get the soldering iron and try to be down there, we can go ahead and make these inserts. And, uh, instead of doing figurative trench warfare, we'll be out on open ground here. So these would be nice and flat on the table and we can run our product along here and uh, make sure we have success in our you know leds and stuff because this will be the only downfall if you know is is having the human factor on these making sure that these get totally packed with light uh, there's no dark spots uh, so looking at the size of this beings that we're taking creative liberties we might have to beef up the stroke just a little bit just to buy us our, ourselves some room because i haven't checked all of it but this is pretty thin here so let's just real quick if we look this is 0.26 on the Y, and this is uh, 1.64, so that'll be that. So if we have this little guy here, I'll throw some magenta on that. You know who you are. And let's see, Friday, show me something. So I ran that. All right. So you can see where we'll just have barely enough room to even fit the tracer in there. I mean, it'll work. So that's what I'm saying is we can go with this um, insert thing and it'll make it really easy for us to put our LEDs down. I'm thinking we might have to have two runs here just to fill this up with light. Uh, might have to do some testing. Might be advantageous to do three, not sure. But anyway, so this will give us that ability though to work out in the flat here on the table, make sure all of our soldered connections are really sexy, uh, make sure there's no dark spots. And then all we gotta do is just silicone these in. Once it's time, we just drop them in here, silicone them in, and uh, that's where they'll live, just right here. That's that's a representative of that little insert there. So, and you know, let's say something goes wrong and for some reason they wanna change these out or something like that, we could even route these again solder up all the connections, make cartridges, inserts, and you can take them over there, get an Ecto-1, head on over there and save the day. And you can just put these in. Um, it looks like they're, they're, they were specking uh, 300K, 3000K. So, you know, these guys come in 3200K, which is probably close enough, whether or not these are available right now or not. So we have to make sure we can get these ordered up. But I think... Um, this would give us the most success doing these tracers. I don't really have much else tr other choice, but um, yeah. So anyway, I think that solves all the issues. I think uh, that gives you some good information to go to go into battle with. So maybe this up the price, maybe this lowers the price. I'm not sure. So, but I think it's a good solution if they do say that they're going to go with us. So hit me up if you have any questions.